Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where I perform different demonstrations and explain the science behind what we're seeing. This week's video is supported by the Institution of Engineering and Technology as part of Santa STEM Workshop and involves exploring viscosity as I show you how to make a snow globe. Let's check it out. Santa STEM Workshop is an amazing Christmas themed resource collection provided by IET Education. Join Santa in his STEM Workshop this Christmas to make, create, imagine and discover with STEM inspired learning through play. There are recipes, craft ideas, activities and experiments for families to do with kids so that everybody can get into the festive spirit this holiday season. To get involved with the Santa STEM workshop activities, whether that's baking with marshmallow snowballs to writing poetry, or exploring electric dough to making an electronic Santa trap, visit the IET.org forward slash Santa. Today's activity comes straight from Santa STEM workshop. The invention of snow globes is credited to the Austrian Erwin Percy. One night he was using a glass globe filled with water to try and improve the light he was getting from his light bulb. When he dropped some semolina into this glass globe, he noticed that it drifted down looking like snowfall and thus he was inspired to make the first snow globes. His snow globes were so popular that he and his brother set up a shop in Vienna selling snow globes and the Percy family still make and sell snow globes today. Modern snow globes use bits of plastic to act as snow and a lot of people think that it is just water that's contained within a snow globe. So the first thing I'm going to do is see what sort of snow effect we would get in a glass jar using water and some chunky glitter. The first thing I'm going to do is open up my jar and fill it near to the top with water. I don't want to fill it all the way to the top because I want to reduce the amount of glitter that is going to get stuck to the bottom of the jar and the corners. Once the water's in, I'm going to pour in about a teaspoon of chunky pink glitter and then I'm going to screw the lid on tightly. Now that's set up, I'm going to test to see what sort of effect I get from the glitter being swirled around inside the water. So I'm going to pick the jar up, give it a good swirl round, stand on its lid and watch the glitter moving about in the water. You'll notice that the glitter was moving around very quickly in the water there, not in the slow relaxing way we are used to seeing with snow globes. And that is why snow globes don't just contain water in them. They have another substance that is added to the water to change the viscosity of the water. So what is viscosity? Well, viscosity describes the speed that a liquid will flow at. In this shot, I am holding two teaspoons. One of them contains water and the other one contains another clear liquid substance called glycerin. Now watch what happens when I tip the teaspoons on their side. You'll notice that the water ran really quickly off the spoon, meanwhile the glycerin moved more slowly as it dripped down into the bowl. This is because glycerin has a higher viscosity than water, meaning it is a thicker liquid and moves more slowly. Water has a very low viscosity, meaning it is a very thin liquid, and that's why the glitter moved so quickly around inside the water in the jar. By adding glycerin to water, you can increase the viscosity of the water and that's exactly what is done in modern snow globes to create that nice relaxing snow falling effect. I'm now going to show you how you can make your own snow globe at home and I'm also going to experiment with three different volumes of glycerin to see which one produces the best snow falling effect in my homemade snow globe. To make your own snow globe at home, you will need a glass jar with a tight fitting lid some water, some chunky glitter, some glycerin, some small plastic Christmas ornaments, a hot glue gun and an adult to supervise since it involves using a hot glue gun. The first thing I'm going to do is set up the three different lids for my three different snow globes. Inside the lid I'm going to place a couple of plastic Christmas ornaments. You'll want to decide in advance where you're going to place your plastic ornaments and make sure that they're not too close to the edge of the lid so it will still screw tightly onto the jar. 
onto the bottom of each plastic ornament, I'm just applying some glue from my hot glue gun, pressing it down tightly, and then I'm putting the lids of the jars to the side to leave these to harden because I don't want them falling off inside my snow globe. Once your glue is set, you can carry on making your snow globe. So the next thing I'm going to do is pour water into the glass jar, filling it almost to the top just like I did in the previous test. Into this first glass jar, I'm going to add one teaspoon of glycerin and give it a stir round. And then I'm going to pour in some chunky silver glitter onto the top. Now I'm going to take one of the lids with my Christmas ornaments glued in place and screw it very tightly onto the top to make sure no water can leak out. If you're concerned that water might come out of the lid of your jar, make sure that you're somewhere that can be easily cleaned, but you could also add some hot glue round the outside rim of the lid to help seal it. Now that this jar is set up, it's time to test it to see what the swirling effect is like with a teaspoon of glycerin added to the water. So I'm going to tip the jar up, give it a good shake and a swirl, stand it on its lid and watch what effect has been created. You'll notice that the swirling of the glitter did still have a bit of speed to it, but it was slower than when the glitter was only contained within water. So now it's time to set up my second jar. Again, I'm going to fill this jar almost to the top with water, and then I'm going to add in two teaspoons of glycerin this time and give it a stir round. Then I'm going to pour in some white chunky glitter this time, which will hopefully look more snowy. And then I'm going to screw on another one of the lids. Now that this snow globe is set up, it's time to test it just like before. So I'm going to pick it up and tip it on its end, give it a good shake and a swirl, stand it on its lid and watch what sort of effect has been created this time. You'll notice that the glitter moved even more slowly in this one and took longer to settle, and this is because with two teaspoons of glycerin, the viscosity of the liquid has been increased even more, and it is moving more slowly. Now that that one's done, it's time to set up and test my third and final snow globe. Just like before, I'm going to fill this jar almost to the top with water, and then I'm going to add in three teaspoons of glycerin this time and give it a stir round. This is increasing the viscosity even more. Then I'm going to add some gold chunky glitter, which will hopefully give a nice Christmassy feel. I'm going to take my final lid with the ornaments on it and screw it very tightly in place so that no water will come out round the edges. And now that my final snow globe is set up, it is time to test it just like before. So I'm going to tip it on its end, give it a good shake and a swirl, stand it on its lid and watch what sort of effect has been created this time with three teaspoons of glycerin in the water. I think that third snow globe is my favourite one out of the three, because with three teaspoons of glycerin in it, that glitter is moving nice and slowly and taking a long time to settle. You can experiment with adding different volumes of glycerin at home, but just be careful because as you add more and more glycerin, increasing the viscosity of the water, there is more chance that your glitter is going to clump together, and then you won't get it separating out, giving that snowy sort of look inside your snow globe. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. A huge thank you to the IET for supporting this video, so be sure to go and check out Santa STEM Workshop by visiting the IET.org forward slash Santa. You can also check out the video I made for the IET last year showing you how to make an electronic Santa trap. I've put links in the description directly to the instructions for this activity, as well as a link to my previous video and a link direct to the Santa STEM Workshop activities. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay up to date on all future content. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here, and I've added links here to the other STEM demos I've done so far, here to my STEM career interviews, and here to my Things You Should Know series. This has been STEM with Mr N and the IET, showing you how to make a snow globe.